Hello and welcome to the channel YouTube world. I just wanted to do a quick rambling video ranting about absolutely nothing. These kinds of videos are actually my favorite to make, believe it or not. It's not about video games. It's not all the Batman stuff I really do enjoy, even though it's pretty cringy. That's kind of the whole point behind it. Uh, I just love talking. Really, I just really, really do. I think I've mentioned this before a couple of times throughout my year and a half-ish journey on YouTube. I always wanted to have my own talk show, except I'm not in a position to be interviewing anybody. It's just kind of me rambling on. But I'm overwhelmed by the fact that I just hit 5,000 subscribers and then I just reset my page and now I'm over 5,300 subscribers. I'm now averaging seven to 800 subscribers a month, and it's just unbelievable. And I'm so grateful for that. So naturally, everybody that's subscribed and or watching the videos, obviously I appreciate that because you're paying me. Let's be real. That's that's what's happening. It's It's bringing this into my life from someone who's already incredibly poor. So... I get to eat some slightly better foods, I get to buy myself some vitamins, I can afford uh, some slightly better medications that aren't always covered, even though I live in Canada. So that's a huge blessing. I'm able to, uh, you know, buy that extra video game here and there kind of thing. And I'm just keeping in mind that though I am doing decently, actually quite well, for the short time I've been on YouTube, I also have to realize that there could become a time where there's like a hard crash to this coming in uh, each month. And I say that because in all honesty, in all honesty, the uh, 1,200 or so videos I've uploaded in, uh, in just a little over a year, there's really only a handful of videos that are actually making me money residually each month. Uh, if you think it's the 20 views that I get doing a Batman video, if you think it's the 7 views I got on Final Fantasy, yeah, that's not what's paying me. But yet, I average um, sometimes seven to 12,000 views a day-ish, and then it fluctuates, and I sometimes hit around a quarter of a million views a month now. And like I said, it's amazing, but I have to be realistic that once the new games come out that are going to replace the ones that I've s spoken about that have made me this money since last July of 2019 when I got monetized, I could end up hard crashing and I just have to keep positive and just stay focused on what I really enjoy doing. So it's the same thing for you. If you're thinking of doing YouTube, it doesn't quite take off or you're, you're like, well, I don't want to say like me because I'm not special. But if you're in a similar situation as me where you end up taking off money-wise a little bit further than you were expecting in such a short period of time and it comes crashing down, don't get discouraged. You never know when your next video could be that one that's going to pop a couple of hundred thousand views and then residually keeps getting watched every month. Um, you know, like what can you do offline while playing Call of Duty? How do you aim down the sights in Red Dead Redemption 2? How do you redeem your Hitman 2 Legacy Pack? Those are some of the videos. Oh, and NBA, how do you edit your roster and all this kind of... Those off videos that I call... Because I mainly want to do showcase videos. I mainly want to play video games and just talk and showcase the game and show you how it looks, how it plays, what I think of it. Not quite a review sort of like a talk through while I'm playing the game but those videos have just never caught on and I understand I'm not that great at video games it's all those one-off videos that have been the big money makers for me and if it wasn't for about five of those videos this is probably how much money I'd be making a month so that's just something you have to keep in mind it's something I have to keep in mind but I'm still really motivated because it's a rush for me to not just constantly keep pumping out useless videos just because I'm hoping one goes like semi-viral in a couple of hundred thousands. To me, that's viral. Um, I still want to make a video because 
I actually like it. If I don't like the video, I won't upload it. You think 1,200 is a lot of videos for a little over a year? You haven't seen the other three, 400 videos? I'm not making this up. That I've actually deleted. I have hours of footage. I have Batman videos. If you think the ones I've uploaded are crap, you haven't seen the ones I deleted. Um, if I don't like what I made, I'm not going to upload it hoping you like it. If I like it and I upload it and you don't like it, it doesn't affect me because I truly enjoyed making the video. And again, I know I've said this before, in this journey on YouTube, that is the number fucking one. Yeah, that's right, the F word. Most important thing. Are you enjoying what you're doing? Did you enjoy what you uploaded? And if you did, ultimately, in the end, that is all that matters. Is it a huge bonus if people watch your video over and over again? They share it? Well, of course, it brings this in. It ain't that nice, right? I was able to afford a, a, a pop filter and a slightly better microphone. Well, mind you, I've had this one since day one, but I just mean like I was able to get the arm for it. You know, it's only 15 bucks here. It's only 20 bucks there. I was able to afford my other Batman mask because this one fits my face a little bit better. It was only ten dollars, ten bucks, five bucks, thirteen dollars a month of World of Warcraft here and there. It all just adds up, right? And when you're super poor, those little five or ten dollars they quickly add up and they can make a big difference. So I just love what I do, and if you love what you do, uh, especially during this pandemic uh, crisis, which is pretty wild. Um, there's a lot more people staying at home. There's a lot more people that are bored looking for a goofball like myself on YouTube to see what they have to say. And I truly think now a little bit more than ever. I guess I should have made this video back in January or February. But now that the summer's coming and, and all that, and I don't know. I just think if you, if you were thinking of uh, getting on board with YouTube, getting on the YouTube train... Uh, do it. Don't don't wait until the pandemic's over. I, I feel like you may be able to get a little bit of a surge um, in, in subscriber count and views. Pick the types of topics that you want to talk about. If there's multiple topics, such as, you know, like my channel talks about anything and everything. Predominantly video games, but I have like a sub-genre, if you will, of what I call cringy comedy and the one-offs like the odd review like on an Apple watch or a Garmin Phoenix watch or uh, something to do with a guitar or something like that just do it I've been browsing YouTube and I've been seeing people with under 20 subscribers popping 100,000 views on their videos and they're not really doing that much I'm not saying I am but I can confidently say yeah, okay, this this is motivating me to definitely not slow down. If I'm thinking a video is going to be, oh, no one's going to watch that, that's useless. No, get that out of your head. I've stated that before. Every video on my channel that I always feel is going to potentially do well, doesn't. And all the ones that I'm like, yeah, people are going to Google this, they end up doing it. Then I look and I'm like, oh, almost a quarter of a million views. Wow. Cool. And then I see the small guys. I mean, I'm still a small guy. 5,000 subs, but no offense. 20 subscribers is, is, is pretty low compared to me now because back when Red Dead Redemption 2 came out, that's about how many subscribers I had. I think I had like 17 subscribers or something like that. I don't even think I had 20 subs when that game came out. So... But they're able to do it. So it's like I get motivated and inspired from people above me. Like I'm talking in numbers, of course. Um, you know, like, wow, you can go that high. But then I'm watching people that are... I'm not saying beneath me. That sounds terrible. I mean in subscriber count. That are below me. They're beneath me. And they're doing well. And it's like, wow. Wow. I need to keep on track, basically just keep doing what I'm doing, and then maybe that odd extra little video here and there that I'm thinking of doing that I don't want to do, just shut up and do it. 
I don't even know where I was going with this rant. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention, actually one of the main reasons I wanted to make this video, now that I've been rambling on for 10 minutes, was to thank everybody, I think I've already done that, for subscribing to me and watching my content, or whoever has been watching my content. And I did something different with my microphone to make it a little bit more fuller. I added an EQ band VST to my OBS. Some people are probably looking at me like, the fuck? I put an EQ, you know, like treble, bass. So this is still my real voice, but I've kind of shaped it a little bit more. Because I have I have a cheap microphone. It's a, it's a snowball made by blue, but I call it a blue ball. Ah, ha, ha. It's a $60 microphone in Canadian dollars, so that's like 20 bucks US. No, it's like $40, $44 US. Um, and it's just a dynamic microphone. But with that small, subtle change, I'd like to think it sounds more as if I had a condenser microphone. Maybe. It's kind of like, it just sounds better. I'm just going to shut up now. Anyhow, I hope everybody's doing well. Despite the madness that has engulfed our planet, I can assure you that it's just a matter of time uh, before things get better. They have to. You just gotta keep in mind that things will get worse before they do get better. That's just the unfortunate reality of life. So, there's no, there's no sugarcoating that. Anyhow, I am going to end it here because I feel like I'm starting to spiral and lose track of where I was going with my conversation. That's my cue to end the video. Stay socially distanced. They say six feet. Let's bring it up a notch. Ten feet. You see a guy coming your way or a girl and you're on the sidewalk, do what I do. Run up someone's driveway or cross the street. You get, you get run over by a truck? Eh. What do you want, a broken leg or do you want the coronavirus? Okay, and then end up on a ventilator for two, three weeks and then potential... And then you die. You don't want that, right? Take the broken leg, cross the road, get run over. Um, yes, I'm kidding. Obviously look both ways. But even if a truck's coming, just, you know. All right, that's enough of that. I shall see you all in the next video. Bye now.